Hi Leo, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Wow, I just got immediately that they've changed or that they're willing to change for you, okay? They may feel like this is over, you know, they feel like this is over, but they still feel like they can... They're afraid that this is really over, but they still feel like they can transform it. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's the energy this is giving. Scorpio energy here. Somebody could be a Scorpio. All right. This person feels alone and sad and lonely here. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's too many cards. All right. This person feels a sad. They feel lonely, they feel abandoned, they feel left out in the cold here. Five of Pentacles energy. They really want to reconcile with you. They want you to know how much they love you, Ace of Cups. But they, this person is, is having a hard time making a decision. They want you to know how difficult this decision is. They want you to know that they're thinking about you. And they want to transform this in their lonely since the two of you have stopped communicating, since the two of you have, you know, just, hmm, this person deals with abandonment issues that have nothing to do with you. They want you to know that, Divine Feminine, okay? This, they also want you to know that, you know... They are having issues with accepting something here. This could be the acceptance of the denial issues that they have that have nothing to do with you. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Capricorn energy, the devil energy. They want you to know, like, this person is stuck in between two worlds. They're stuck in between the old them and then literally, like, the new change version of them so they're still stuck in this low vibing energy these bad habits these toxic traits you know being stuck and codependent they're obsessing over this though what else do they want the divine feminine to know that they love you king of cups all right cancer pisces scorpio energy they love you they're emotional over you they, they may not have displayed that in the past, but I really feel like this person really loves you. What do they want the divine feminine to know? Whoa, Aries energy that they are stuck in their head. They want to come towards you, but they feel like they can't, like they're, they feel trapped. You know, they feel like they thought they had control over the situation, but they don't. They feel like their hands are tied. They're stuck in their head. Thinking about you, see, this is someone who is used to having control over a situation. The divine masculine is used to having, knowing what their next move is. But this person does not feel like they know what their next move is. Look at this. This person is like their arms are tied. They are literally stuck and trapped in their thoughts and thinking about you. They're trying to find peace and come out of this conflict. But it's like there's a block here. They're, they're trying to come out of this, but Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords energy, they're having a pretty difficult time. Yeah, see, this part, they're grieving over you. They're depressed and they're sad. They really miss you, Five of Cups. They're very emotional. This person is doing everything they can to control their emotions when it comes to you. You know? They may not be showing it. Even if they're not showing it behind this emperor, is this king of cups. This person who's soft for you, you know, like this soft and mushiness. They just don't show it, I feel like. You know, <laughs> this emperor is, is someone who might be hiding behind doing everything else for everybody else or like they could be hiding behind their business they could be hiding behind their obligations they could be hiding behind a family here but underneath they're in this eight of swords five yeah look at this i was getting ready to say five of five of cups but five of swords it's this energy of like and the ten of wands it's this energy of all this conflict you know and they're feeling overwhelmed and burned right now. They're, I, I, I'm getting like a sense of 
like just them wanting to let go of this burden you know this is really burdening them quite a bit this person feels like the divine masculine feels like you feel like home to them oh wait what is this wait i just saw something it's flipped over look at this so y'all can see this right you see how these cards are some like okay this card is the two of cups all of these are turning the other way i must have missed this so i just wanted y'all to see that two of cups this person loves you like i was saying even if they're not showing it or telling you two of cups they love you the same way you love them very emotional and you know in this two of cups this this divine masculine wants to give you their cup of love so bad because see i don't know if y'all can see this but in here it's like this divine can you see this divine masculine's hand reaching out to this divine feminine like they want to reach out to you give you this cup of love but it's like the, for, there's a reason they can't And it's like, you're not even taking this cup. You don't have your hands extended, but the divine masculine has their hand extended like here. So, you know, to me, this is like, maybe they feel like they'll reject it. Seven of, yep, and as soon as I say that, the seven of wands, they feel like you'll reject this if they, if, if they extend this cup of love to you, literally. Seven of wands, two of cups exactly what i was saying thank you spirit that's that's exactly how this divine masculine feels nine cups on the bottom of the deck like they want to offer this to you but there's so much conflict they feel like they did too much in the past five of wands ten of swords they feel like they betrayed you so much you know how does this divine masculine feel about the divine feminine what do they want them to know this person wants to run after you so bad. We have the boat energy, which is that six of swords energy we saw earlier. They want to give you what you need. They want to come towards you, but they know that they, they're having closure issues. Maybe the two of you didn't like get a conversation to talk about closure or something here. They're having a hard time moving on. It's like... They want to apologize for like running away from the connection. This person could have listened to their ego. They could have had a fear of intimacy here. The grim, yeah, they feel like this is over and you've moved on. Yeah. Which makes sense. We saw the death card seduction so there's a lot of attraction here between you and your divine masculine but they just feel like you're not going to take them back because they may have put you they not may have they put you in a lot of third party fucked up situations period five of swords played some games devil energy you know what i'm saying like they they know that they did they know the the weight that they put on your back they're feeling this ooh, I want to just drop some cards hold on y'all they're feeling this way and some of you all could be feeling this way too this person definitely I feel like there was a narcissistic this person is so sorry for like <coughs> being, being so narcissistic it's like they're hard having the hardest time getting over these obstacles they want to reunite with you, but it's like, they feel like you're moving on. Ascending came out in reverse, you know, so, I don't know. All right, what else, Spirit? Show me here. What else does the Divine Masculine want the Divine Feminine to know? Hmm. Let's see. What else does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know? They feel like you're making the right decision by protecting yourself and guarding yourself and being in this seven of wands energy. They feel like by keeping to yourself, literally this says protecting yourself, needing to keep yourself safe. 
they feel bad that you have to do this, right? They feel bad that you have to be in this energy, like, no, get back. And they know that you're doing that, right? For some of them, it's because they got caught up, that third party, you know, devil energy here. Some of them, they got caught cheating, you know, you could have found evidence of the cheating. Some, some of you all, they could have gotten someone pregnant or caught an STD or something, you know, like that. What does the Divine Masculine want the Divine Feminine to know? They're sorry about this, but, you know, I'm just saying, everybody has free will. You don't have to take this person back. They want you to know that those friends that they thought were really their friends, they're realizing those people are not their friends anymore. They're, yeah, see, hater. Wow. Wow. What else does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know? Yeah, this person is experiencing drama with their friends. You could have told your divine masculine, don't trust those friends. You know, don't hang around so and so and so and so over there. They're not good for you, whatever, right? I feel like this person is like, you were right. Divine feminine, you were right. They're deciding to focus on themselves. They're either focusing on their healing their inner child wounds which I feel like has been difficult. This parent, for some of you all, this person is a parent or a single parent and they, they're doing everything they can to become a better parent. What else? Yeah, this person is thinking about you so much, head in the clouds, they're daydreaming. They could even be dreaming about you when they go to sleep. This person is falling apart. Your divine masculine is literally falling into pieces. They're torn apart by this. They're upset, anger. They're in, in this anger, in anguish almost. What does the divine masculine want to say to the divine feminine, please? Wow. They said they need more love. This person is going through something with their family, okay? For some of you all, this person has children and they're going through it with their family. They're having family issues or their family could have gotten in the way. That could have been the fake friends or fake family members. Yeah, but who would this... So this person could be going through something with someone, their family members right now. They're realizing this and they're realizing they're on two different pages with whoever this is referencing so this could be a family member a friend or if this person is in a long-term commitment or like a marriage this has family issues different pages you know maybe the two of you guys were like raised in a different religion or household or something of that nature right yeah toxic and unhealthy pattern so this person learned did i say earlier like the abandonment issues had nothing to do with you the abandonment issues had to do with before you even came around into the to existence in this person's life this person had unhealthy they saw unhealthy relationships play out in their family before you came around or for like I said, for some of you out there in another connection with somebody else, they they have a very toxic relationship with this person. Very toxic. Yeah, resentment, anger. There's a lot of bitterness here. There's a lot of. They know that that they treated you unfairly. They know they're hurt about it. They they really feel like you're bitter. Or this could be the person that they're with. Apply that where it fits. But somebody's upset and being yeah, bitter. Somebody really got caught up cheating. You know, it, they somebody got caught in a very compromising position here. Yeah. What does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know, spirit guides? What is the divine masculine? They compare other people to you. This person compares everybody to you. It's 
It's crazy. I wish we could go back. They want to go back in time. And I say they have a, a ton of regret, remorse. They're like really torn over this, right? Very emotional. Even if they're trying to do an every on the outside, things might look picture perfect, but that's not how this divine masculine is feeling. Will you ever make things right? This divine masculine knows they can't come towards you unless they make something right here. But they feel like you'll reject them. Okay. I want to make amends. Yeah. They know they need to make things right and make amends between the two of you. They, but they're afraid that you're going to reject them. <laughs> I don't want to know. So they feel like you don't want to know the truth or that they're keeping secrets. Somebody's keeping secrets there. I don't know. Well, there are definitely a lot of secrets, but I don't know if this was between you and your person or your person and third party. For some of you all, it was between you and your person. Um, they're waiting for you patiently. They want you to know they're waiting to hear from you. And... They're saying if you give them another chance, they won't let you down. Okay. One more message, please. We have, I need security. So for those of you, for this person who's like in another third party or they're with another commitment, right? This person may have like been with someone for marriage, stability, stability married for stability, married for money, whatever, you know, and... That's very unfortunate. Our zodiac signs we see here are Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius right now. And then the Seven of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag. So everybody's really here, but Major Arcana, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries. All right, what does the Divine Masculine want the Divine Feminine to know, please, Spirit Guides? They feel like you, it's it's your choice. If the power lies in your hands, you know they feel like you, they miss you quite a bit. And being without you has been like super super hard. Like you make this person so happy. You know, after you stop talking to them or went on this break or, you know, however long, for some of y'all could be six months, for some of you could be six years, and does it six weeks, six days, I don't know where six came from, but that might be, um, could have been last summer for some of you all, or like last holiday, major holiday here, but like after you stop talking to them, after the two of you stop speaking, they just have been sitting and waiting for you to call them, and they have so many questions. We have so many questions. They know their ego is like, they, you, you know, they're sorry because they know they were living in their ego, but they're also sorry and regretful because they kind of like pushed you away. It's like, and they, they said a lot of things, but they didn't follow through with those things that they said they were going to do. It says no more talk. Act, they want action to show you they want to show you and put in the work and repair what they've broken. It's not too late. So they're like, if the Divine Feminine gives me another chance, I will do whatever it takes. I mean, I know what they want, but I don't really see the action behind it quite yet. This is just the energy that they're in and what they want you to know. Uh, they feel like you've reached a dead end. Yeah, and you left with your dignity and your strength and your pride intact. For some of you all, you could have, uh, you know, put them on block in June. This is June here at the bottom of the day. You could be um, a Gemini or a Cancer. Yeah, this person is secretly, even though they're secretly longing you and missing you, they want to talk and they're hoping you won't ignore them when they try to reach out to you. They want to clear the air with you because they feel like there was a lot left unsaid, you know, but 
<laughs> they feel like again you're going to reject them yeah. they feel like you don't feel the same way way because it's like they feel like you are on a totally different level as far as healing is concerned they feel like you are a little bit ahead of them as far as like maturity is concerned or like the ability to come out of fear of not being your ego they feel like you you are ahead of that ahead of them when it comes to that like you stepped out on faith and done certain things and you're ready to heal and move on you know what i'm saying and they just they admire that about you whether you know it or not they actually do all right let's pull what else here what else does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know <clears throat> They're, they want to bring balance back into this situation, but they're afraid of change. They love you, but it's like they're chained to another situation or they feel stuck. You see how this person's like got this chain around their, they're chained to this uh, post here and they're wearing this mask. They want to take off the mask, but they still feel stuck. The angels love is like they, they really love you and care about you. And I think we know that, right? That came, that showed up all up and through this reading, okay? Alright, what is the divine mask and I want to say to the divine feminine, please? They know that they that you want them to stop making the excuses. They know that the excuses don't matter anymore. They want you to know that everything in their life is not what it seems. You may have assumed something about this divine masculine or about their situation or about their childhood. And they're saying it's not what it seems. So they haven't shared everything with you here. This person's in a lot more pain than they are letting on or appear to be in. I need time to heal. They definitely need time to heal. They could be feeling like you're taking your time to heal, which is true. I really see that you are taking time to heal. You deserve, yeah, you deserve better. They they feel like you deserve better than what they can give you right now. And, and walk away. They, they literally don't blame you for walking away. Wow. This is cray cray. I am no good for you. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Oof. I know this is not what you guys may want to hear, but they say you're my best friend. Oh, that's so sweet. They know that you deserve better. They know they haven't healed completely. They know they have more healing to do, but they still feel like you are their best friend. Beautiful energy. So, you know, it's time to accept some things. I don't know what to do. This person is feeling trapped. Remember I said earlier with that emperor showing up with that eight of swords, they definitely don't know what to do. They feel like their hands are tied. They're confused. Two of swords. Yeah. I want someone else. So for some of you all, they have somebody else and they're choosing that other person. Um, convenience and security over love, right? Very hard pill to swallow very hard pill to swallow but that's okay because do you really want to be with someone who's not healed who's in this toxic energy they cannot love you to the extent that you need to be loved by a feminine you can love yourself better and as i say that cannot make this up i love you i love you oh let's see what's on the bottom of the day no time for distraction so don't distract yourself you know, or this person feels like, you know, it's just a distraction when it comes to you. But they love you. They want you to know that. So I think I'm just going to end the reading here because that was a little heavy. <laughs> Let's see what zodiac signs you could be dealing with. This could be zodiac signs in your person's chart. These could be zodiac signs in your chart, third party, whoever. Okay, we just got, who was that that just dropped? Leo. Okay, we have Leo, Pisces, I'm sorry, Cancer, maybe you are dealing with the Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Libra, one more, Capricorn, all right, that is your reading at the like button, and um, yeah, go check out your other readings.